Hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to see how to do this assignment using C programming here this assignment says write a C program to record the GPAs of a class and find the number of students in each GPA the program first allows the user to enter the number of students enrolled in the class and then to enter the GPA of all students one by one for each student the input must be between 1 and 4 inclusively otherwise the software displays a message as invalid number and ask, the, ask for a new GPA for the same student. A sample interaction is shown below. Okay, here we have the user have entered eight students and it's asking for eight GPAs. When the user enter a number that's above, see, I mean four, it's giving a, a giving invalid number. And finally, the output becomes like this. The total number of students is eight. GPA one student is one. GPA two students two and GPA three students two. It's counting how many students have the same GPA and printing out like this. Okay, now let's go ahead and see how to create this one using C program. First, I'm going to introduce some integer type of variable. Integer std num and also index and then I create another variable num. And also I'm going to create array to store for GPA GPA frequency integer GPA frequency f f r q frequency I put four and then that is equal to zero equal to zero after that we are going to put s rand unsigned and here we are going to put time null okay now First of all, we have to get the input from the user. You have to give a, give a prompt to the user to enter the number of students. I'm going to write it here. Enter. Enter the number of students. Enter the number of students. Backslash and for new line. And then to get the input from the user, we are going to use a scan of statement kind of statement since the user is going to enter integer type of variable we put percentage d and whatever the value the user enter I'm going to store that one in std now std now okay now I initialize index with one index is equal to one here we are going to use a while loop while loop <coughs> in this while loop we are going to set a condition that index is less than or equal to std norm std norm and we want to generate numbers between 0 0 to 4 so rand percentage 5 so this only generate number between 0 and 4 <coughs> and uh, c 0 and 5 the 5 will be not be printed only 4 and I gi give a if statement because the GPA has to be between 1 and 4 so we have to give an if statement in this if statement I'm going to set a condition num has to be greater than or equal to 1 double and for and okay and num has to be less than or equal to 4 if the condition is satisfied it's going to enter this if statement in this if statement we are going to give a printf statement in this printf statement we are going to put gpa 
GPA of student of student number percentage D is percentage D percentage D and I put backslash in and the first percentage D comes from index and the second one comes from num now I'm going to put GPA frequency frequency I set an array here num minus 1 plus plus okay and uh, index I put index is equal to index plus 1 Now if the user enter value that's above like uh, above 4 or below 1 we have to give invalid number so I put an else statement for that in this else we are going to say print we are going to put a printf statement that is going to say invalid in invalid number invalid number okay that's it for this one now after this curly bracket we are going to put the final output that is printf the total the total number of students students is percentage d backslash n the this one comes from std now std norm and then we are going to create a for loop in this for loop we are going to initialize index with 0 index with 0 and we are going to set a condition that is index is less than less than 4 because it's going to run 4 times index is less than 4 and index plus plus Now finally we are going to give a printf statement. In this printf statement it's going to print out GPA percentage D <coughs> it's loading. Okay, percentage D percentage d I put a dash 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 percentage d students okay student or students backslash n and then uh, that number percentage the first percentage d comes from index plus one index plus one and the second one come from gpa frequency frequency index okay now that's it this should now this should work proper properly. Let's go ahead and run this one. Hmm. There's something wrong. I I think I missed a semicolon somewhere. Here. I missed a semicolon here. Okay, it's asking enter the number of students. I put eight generating random numbers and printing out like this okay because I put num is equal to random percentage five so it's generating random numbers and printing out and two of the numbers generated like invalid numbers uh, 
and it's uh, it's printing out GPA one is three students, GPA two is three students, and it's counting everything for us. And that's how it works. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. And if you are trying to learn C or C plus plus programming, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watch there too. And if you are trying to access this code, it's in my blogger. I put the link of my blogger in the description so you can go ahead and access them. Thanks for watching. See you next time.